All right, what's been key for you in, you know, after all the questions we had to you after the first game, changing it in these last two and having more success on the floor? Just getting downhill, being aggressive, being who I am. Was that a team concept that changed anything for you, or is it just you in your own head having to change the way you were playing? Both. Let's just take us through the, the play with Drew, the three-pointer. I mean, just obviously, you, you got the ball up top, you get a blitz, clock's running down. Just what are you thinking through that whole sequence? I was just, I saw me and Hardenstein went on one on top, so I just thought, you know, get to my get to my shot. But I heard Tibbs yelling to, to double, and um, I probably held the ball a little too long. I should have, excuse me, been more aggressive to attack the, the blitz. Um, but I put Drew in kind of a bad situation, and he just made an unbelievable shot, big, big shot. Um, you know, it was really... Um, just, just really stepped up to the moment when we needed him the most, and um, you know, really good to see. You just as a group, you guys were operating on a pretty high wire there for that entire fourth quarter. You know, the top, you know, close the entire time. Just what's to say about this group, the way they were able to just battle it out? What did you like about what you guys were able to do in that stretch? Man, just digging in, just digging in, understanding our backs are against the wall. Um, we're here at home. Obviously, they they handled business. We can both at home and. Um, everybody knows what it looks like when you go down 3-0. So, um, you know, we had to come out, play desperate, play hard. And, um, you know, that, the third quarter, I mean, it got us again. You know, we've really been poor in these third quarters all series. So, um, you know, we just didn't let that deter us and responded the right way in the fourth, um, which was big from, from everybody. Tyrese, I see you limping uh, along here. What, uh, is it your foot, your ankle, another body part? Uh, it was my ankle. I rolled my ankle on that steel uh, with, uh, in the layup in the fourth, um, and I landed on my my tailbone there on that, and one. Um, so just overall body right now. Uh, just I'm hurting, but I mean they got guys hurting too, you know. So we gotta understand that the, like everybody's hurting right now, you know. So thank God we got a day in between, and I'm young, and you know I'll heal up and be ready to go on Sunday. Well, what have you learned about the playoffs through this stretch, uh, and about yourself uh, through this uh, period of time? I would just say more than anything, it's about just getting to the next play, you know, and that's, you know, responding to something good or something bad, honestly. You know, I think, um, you know, down there at stretch, I turned the ball over. Um, just I had to get to the next play to get back and, you know, try to slow down Josh so Miles could get that block. Um, you know, just figuring out what what you can do to, you know, get to the next play because uh, every possession matters and you're just trying to win one possession at a time. So I feel like it's just more heightened in the playoffs. You know, just you pay more attention to it. And there's there's already been certain plays in the playoffs that run on my and run in my head on repeat that I just, you know, consistently think about where it doesn't really work like that in the regular season. You just kind of move on. But um, so that's a little different in the playoffs. Uh before the game, Coach Carlisle talked a lot about the Knicks' toughness and how tough they are. I want, um, it, it made me wonder if they, if he challenged you guys a little bit more before this game than, us than usual just to, to match their toughness. For sure, for sure. I think that's been the emphasis really all series for us. You know, like we've talked about that all series. How can we, you know, match that energy because we're going to have to if we want a chance to win. Um, and honestly, we really didn't do that in the first two games. We, I, I feel like we did in the first half for two games. And then the second half of both games, we got outworked. And so we just had to figure out how we were going to respond. Um, I thought Miles was great at setting the tone. I thought Double A was, you know, amazing on Brunson. Um, obviously, he's a tough cover for, for anybody. But just, you know, we're get, trying to give him as many different looks as we can, show him different bodies. Um, I thought those guys set the tone for us to, you know, defensively. And, I mean, still, they, they got – you know, uh, you know, 10 offensive rebounds. Uh, but we out-rebound them tonight, and I, don't, I doubt that's happened to them all playoffs, really. So, um, you know, I think that that's, that's where it starts. But, you know, just get into the next possession, get into the next play, because they, they, they got a lot of guys who just play really hard. Seeing how Brunson has been playing in the playoffs, and especially early in this series, does that fire your competitive juices up, knowing that this is, you know, the all-star versus all-star? Tough situation. I mean, I don't think it's as much about me versus him as much as it is our teams versus each other. Um, it's, it's it's not about that. It's just doing what you have to do to win. Um, you know, he's doing what he has to do for his team to win games, and um, I, I got to start doing. I got to do that as well for, for to give my team the best chance to win. So it's less about the the one on one matchup and who's scoring or who's doing what. That's for y'all to talk about. We're just trying to win games. Ty, you guys have been great at home throughout the playoffs. Can you kind of just speak to the atmosphere um, throughout these playoffs at home and, and what that's meant to you guys as a team? Yeah, it's been unbelievable in here. It's been unbelievable. The energy, um, I think that our fans have just been itching for playoff basketball again, just like us, you know. And so I think that's the, 
excitement in our city and that's why everybody's so excited and obviously there's just a lot of energy around basketball in indiana right now especially with the fever and us so uh it's really cool to see the energy in the building you know every game and um you know they really willed us to a win tonight to be honest so uh we're just gonna keep riding riding that um that train and and, and hopefully they, they keep coming supporting us and um you know we just keep you know performing the way we're able to you guys have talked a lot as long as he's been here about the toughness that Drew has, basically, and his ability to kind of move on from stuff. I guess just how, how much does what he did there speak to that? The fact that I mean, he had some open shots that he missed. He's obviously been bounced around on defense. There's, you know, he's dealt with some tough assignments to step up in that position and hit that shot. What, how much does that kind of add to what you already had to say about him? Yeah, just digging in. I think as a group, we understand that the, how how deep we are as a as a as a team. It, it's going to be somebody else's night really every night, you know, and and just understand that it's not about who scores this many points, who does what. We just got a lot of unselfish dudes that are prepared for the moment whenever that is, you know. And um, I think that was just that, – that, that was the biggest thing is obviously, yeah, he's missed, he missed a couple shots, um, but, you know, he was ready when, the, when, his, when his time was called. I'm just excited for him because <laughs> after the, the Bucks game, was that game three? He was like, my, my main playoff moment is going to be offensive rebounds. So I'm glad that that's, uh, this, is, this is probably his biggest moment now. So I, I'm excited for him. Therese, what's different about your mental approach in the playoffs compared to the regular season? Um, I wouldn't say anything. I, I would say just, like, the amount of attention to detail with, like, film study. You know, like, in the regular season, it's a little different. I'm not watching. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm watching film after every game, but it's not as deep dive as, as it is right now, you know, seeing the defensive adjustments and all that stuff, like, Every day, I'm watching film with Drew every day. Watching film with IY and 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 Rick and just everybody, just diving in. Um, really, just you know, picking the game apart as much as I can to see where I can get better. Just the attention to detail, I think, is the biggest thing with the approach. And and honestly, um, I got 26 shots, my most shots I've shot in a very long time, maybe ever. Um, but I think like just uh, you know whatever's needed to win games and that's kind of how I'm approaching this game these games right now especially after a rough game one um just you know how can I impact the game and, and some games it's going to be scoring some games it's going to be facilitating some games it's going to be both uh but whatever I got to do to win is, is what I want to do so you mentioned Miles Block how big of a moment was that uh just down the final stretch there it led to Andrew's first bucket and then eventually his three um, did you feel like that was kind of a momentum shifter? Oh, for sure, for sure. I think there there are certain plays that happen over the course of, um, you know, a series that in a, in a course of a game that can really change things. I think that's what they do so well is those offensive rebound kickouts are really like momentum momentum changing, you know, like especially when you're in a garden, like an offensive rebound kickout three is like a windmill dunk, you know, when you play the Knicks, you know. So I think there's certain plays that can sway momentum you know, and uh, I think that, you know, big blocks like that, obviously, like, you know, transition threes or just moments that, you know, lead to timeouts or st just things like that are, are definitely things that are going to stick out. And I think that we're going to remember that play because um, I, I feel like that that changed the game uh, was a was a, you know, a game changing moment. And um, just I, I think it just speaks to, you know, how hard he played and, and the tone he set today. Playoffs, every game is big, but home crowd, Eastern Conference semifinals, getting this win finally against the Knicks. How big was this win tonight? Yeah, I mean, huge. Like, listen, we know what it looks like when teams go down 3 0. Um, so we, we really needed this win. Um, you know, now we understand they're going to come out with, you know, a big punch on Sunday, and we got to be able to, you know, weather, that, weather the storm and, and be ready to go. And I just think it's, it's, it's huge for us. But we understand we gotta get a, we gotta get another one. Um, we gotta take care of home home floor as much as we can, because uh, like they say, playoff series don't start till a road team wins. So um, you know we gotta be ready to go on Sunday. Everybody's banged up. Everybody's hurting. Everybody's uh, gonna be amped for that game. So it's Mother's Day. All our moms are gonna be there. Everybody gonna be ready to go. I'm excited.